hello friends welcome back today we are going to try a new product which is available in the market called inway artemia cyst from the inway aquaculture usa so for this we've taken one tablespoon of rock salt which is non-iodized and i've taken in one by teaspoon in which i've only taken a little portion of the inway artemia cyst so the next thing what we need to do is we need to make an hatchery kit for making an hatchery kit i've got two two liters of pepsi bottle in which one I have cut the bottom part and another one I have cut the top part of it. So the the bottle which I have cut the bottom part will be used as a, for the filling the water and the top part which I have cut will be uh, used for serving as a stand purpose. So that we no need to hang it somewhere we can keep it in the inner surface. So the next thing what we need to give is the aeration for this particular hatchery kit. For aeration purpose, I have taken a normal air pump and an air stone and uh, this is very important. Uh, we have to make sure that the air stone touches the cap of the bottle so that when we put the artemia cyst, nothing is uh, staying down in the bottle and everything circulates in the bottle. So if any artemia cyst uh, stays in the bottom, then it won't get hatched. So uh, make sure that you have uh, kept it at the very bottom and you can also use the aeration uh, with the help of drilling the cap of the bottle which is up to you. Now I am adding 1 tablespoon of rock salt which is non iodized salt available in the market. And next thing what we will be doing is we will have to add the cyst to the bottle and let's add the cyst and uh, we need to uh, make sure that uh, it's not sticking the bottom of uh, side of the bottle for that we have to steer it well after adding the uh, cyst so that's all we need now so now we will have to wait for 24 hours to uh, check the results on how or what quantity got hatched so let's keep it aside and make sure that aeration is continuously on and wait for another 24 hours to see what is the uh, hatching rate we have got from this particular test? Alright guys, so it's been almost 24 hours and you can see the color of the bottle has been changed. Now the color of water is a little orangish and you can see a dark layer on the top which is the shells of the hatched artemia and a bottom we can see little reddish which is the hatched artemia. Now the next thing what we need to do is separate this from the shells so that uh, we can feed to the fishes. Remember that we need to separate it or else if we feed it directly there is a possibility that these shells can also uh, uh, be collected and fed and which can cause issues to the fishes like digestion and other things and it can even cause the, the till death of the fishes. So you can use a separator nets which are available in the market for 400-500 rupees but uh, you can also use the traditional method with the help of a torch light and a dark room uh, like you see in the video i have used a dark room and i have used a mobile torch uh, when we have the mobile torch flash on this artemia will come towards the light part and you can use a spiller and get those uh, collected and put it in a glass and uh, then you can feed to the fishes so remember that while you collect the artemia uh, with the help of a spiller the water will be still saline and if your uh, tank is in very small size you need to wash it with the normal water before you filling uh, feeding to the fishes if the tank is of bigger size there won't be any problem because its saline con content will be less for those particular tanks so as you can see that this is the final product what we got after hatching the after uh, collecting all the hatched artemia so this particular artemia can be fed for uh, 1500 fries at least twice a day and uh, this is the quantity what we get it from an imported artemia cyst and that's the reason why we should be going for an imported artemia cyst rather than indian artemia cyst because the cost wise and the quality wise it is always better than indian artemia and uh, this particular artemia can be kept alive for a day if we keep it this, uh, like in the same condition in the refrigerator and i hope that this in video was very informative and i hope that you enjoyed this video thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for for our next video have a good day ahead bye bye